And Claudine Wong has uh, this enviable assignment. Uh, and Claudine, I don't know how you drew the uh, short straw or the long straw to get this uh, assignment for It's It because people who don't know what It's It is, it, it's, a, it's an ice cream sandwich, but really, can we describe it as an ice cream sandwich, Claudine? No, it's just an experience, really, right? I feel like every time I've been hanging out with you guys, it's kind of a question of, is it too early for this? So, right, when we were in the East Bay, I'm like, is it too early for barbecue? In the North Bay, I'm like, is it too early for some bubbly? Well, this morning, the question is, is it too early for ice cream? I think uh, Gacia said cappuccino was her favorite. Mm. Is it too early? The answer is absolutely not. It's not too early for ice cream especially if it's an it's it. Three strawberries, three, four, three. One mint, uh, two cappuccinos. When it comes to it's it ice cream sandwiches, there are just two questions you need to ask yourself. How many and which flavors? Oh, cappuccino and pumpkin. That's the one. But I have to watch what I get because <laughs> I will eat them all. No matter what you pick, you get a piece of San Francisco history with an It's It. Well, It's It started in 1928 at uh, Playland by the Beach. And it was there for many years till 1970, 71, when they tore down the beach. And we bought the trademark, the word It's It. And we started making our own cookies, our own formulas. We get the milk from the local farms. We process it here and we get the whole thing together, the ice cream, the cookies, and the chocolate, and it becomes the good old It's It. Company president Charles Shamir says It's It is all about family. We're a family company, and it's owned by three families. Basically, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Did everyone get along? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> For over 50 years, yeah. And when it comes to how an It's It is made, well, as the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We have a formula that we haven't changed since we started. So if you start eating an It's It like a year ago or 10 years ago or in the next few years, nothing's going to change. We use uh, the best product. We don't have to use preservative because we make the cookies ourselves and it gets frozen within three to four days for being made. But just because you have the right formula doesn't mean you can't mix it up with new products like the Nuggets and the It's It Minis. And don't forget those new flavors. Now the classic vanilla It's It is making some room in the freezer for mint and cappuccino, and more recently, strawberry, green tea, and pumpkin. Well, you know, it's like your own kids. You gotta like all of them. but. My favorite really is still the vanilla and the cappuccino is uh, second. In the last decade, the company also opened up its factory store. A lot of people know the factory is here and they feel they drive past it on the 101 for years and years. The shop is a little newer, so not everyone knows it's here. But it's definitely worth taking the exit from the freeway and coming to find us. We have to fill the freezer here about once or twice a week. And that fits about three and a half thousand, I believe. So we go through it. We definitely go through it. This has become a favorite stop because while It's It is popular in stores all across California, it's only in a handful of states west of the Rockies. And past that, well, and It's It is tough to find. And if you want to find the newest flavors, this is the place to get them. The strawberry's a little rarer. The cappuccino, I know, is off the shelves quickly. People buy a lot of those. Those are really good. Uh, my favorite's the pumpkin, though. I will always recommend that one. Whatever you pick is bound to get you a few brownie points. I do it every summer for the camp counselors. My kids will be very popular today, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> they'll get, they'll take the credit for my, uh, my expense, right? Way to go, Dad. Exactly. Yeah. Which brings us back to the only questions that really seem to matter. How many and which flavors? And how long will this box last? Um, it will last us a uh, couple weeks. <laughs> Maybe longer if we're good. Well, what fun is it to be good? All right, we're trying to make you a little jealous here. So we're showing you some of the offerings that we picked up from the factory store, the minis, which are fairly new. So the, these are the classic sandwiches that we all really like. And these nuggets, which, you know, they told me, hey, you know, you can eat just one if you only want one. But again... Who does these? These have waffle cone pieces on them, so they're pretty cool. And that factory store, it is really fun to go. This is some merch, right? 
I've really got the whole it's it theme going here now. But it is just fun to go in there and stop by and really, you know, when you talk about SFO and dropping by if you're coming home, what a nice treat coming off a plane or if you're, you yep. know, just showing some people around San Francisco. This is the way to do yeah. it, I think. Absolutely. Claudine, I'm jealous of your sweatshirt and the cappuccino. It's it right by your side. My my little sister showed up with like one of those I'll variety boxes once to like a family get together. We freaked. Like it was, I haven't tried the pumpkin and, and uh, the green tea I've also not tried, but I think the rest I've sampled at least once. You know what? I, I'm going to have to go with the classic one, Garcia, but I Always do good. like the mint one too. Okay. So if I go to the store, if they have one or the other, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Good. Good.